So that was dinner tonight. The wok stove has been a godsend for us, truly an amazing project. We have really enjoyed cooking on it. It's free because we have an abundance of firewood here and it just was a really fun project. Uh, to complete together as a team and if you guys are looking for something fun that you can use every day that's free you don't need to have a power bill to uh to operate it and if you're looking for some way to uh, stay busy and have some fun during the pandemic i would highly recommend uh, a wok stove so a lot of you guys don't have time to watch our full vlog and you wanted to have a condensed video that was tight and would show you start to finish a time lapse of the entire project of what it took to build the wok stove. So here it is. Hey babe, what do you think about the width? Skinnier, wider, what do you think? I think it looks great. So like imagine that I'm coming up. Like. Alright, this is literally where it's going to be because this board um, is pretending to be concrete right now. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the base of the concrete and then I'm going to put hardy backer which is very thin and then I'm going to put three and a half inches of concrete there and that will be, I think a three and a half inches is thick enough for the heat. Yeah. So this is two inches so this lip will rest on the concrete and I'll have a hole here. And that's it. Yeah, I think it's good. Pretending. Ooh, making strip that. That's so good. Yeah, I think it's great. You like it? Mm-hmm. Should it be higher? Should it be lower? <laughs> I don't think you should go higher with it. If anything, go lower, but I think it's good where it's at. Okay. It's not, the edge is not going to risk burning your wrist all the time when you're going in there. No? Because you're shorter than me, so if it's perfect for you, then it'll be a little lower for me and be perfect balance between us. I think it's great. All right, babe. Okay. A quarter inch off. A quarter inch off. Where? A quarter inch here.
Okay, to make this concrete strong, we're gonna put like a layer of chicken wire this way. Around the whole bottom part? In the middle of it. So I pour a little bit, chicken wire in the middle, like a sandwich, and then concrete on top. Okay, so you want me to cut this and measure it now, and then move it, concrete, and then put that? Yep, because this is the meat, the concrete's the bread. Okay. Yay! Chin snips. exception of the lime or the cement. This is all local mix, local sand, local gravel. Okay, no turning back now. Yep. I just took it away. Hey, these are the days of our lives. Just out of plain coincidence, the width of the firebox part of the wok stove is exactly four bricks wide. That's awesome. I don't have to cut any bricks. If you guys turn the audio up real high right now, can you hear the mosquitoes? Sun's coming out, I can take this claustrophobic thing. Boom. Sit. Sit. Spin. Good boys. Good boys. Good job, guys. Ah! All right, welcome back to our traditional wood-fired Chinese wok stove. How's it looking, Puma? I mean, it's crooked. What do you think?
be right back to see how it turns out. Okay. Ah, you have a hair. Are you not entertained? I'm the only one here. <laughs> All right. Can I use some of your sun to dehydrate my kale chips? Yeah, for sure. Kale chips? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I freaking love that. Did you season them? I did. I did uh, so sea salt and garlic kale chips. Nice. Where do you want the first uh, dish to be inside this thing? Stir fry. Mongolian? Yeah. I'm wearing a shirt all dirty. Oh. <laughs> All right, what are you up to? So um, I just smashed a bunch of broken pottery that we had lying around the house that I couldn't fix. So I'm gonna take this broken pottery and on the front half of the walk, I'm gonna decorate it in some cool design um, with this, with some shells that we have and maybe some cool rocks. It's so. gonna be cool. Yeah, I think it'll look cool. I think it'll make it look more colorful, not so gray. And I have all this, this broken pottery, so I didn't know what else to do with it, so it kind of comes in handy, so. Cool. Let's do it. Okay, so the folks watching this are going to assume that you just drank two bottles of wine uh -huh. and are now yeah. doing this project. No, I'm going to, um, these are old bottles of wine that we drank a long time ago, but uh, I'm going to break them and use the glass to oh. uh, decorate around this.
Okay, I need probably like two more. Everywhere it was viral in the in the most literal sense of the word. And then check out how the storage space has got the, the steamer bottom here. That goes in the water. So we can do baozi and jiaozi. Awesome, I can't wait. And steamer back. hot water to get any like existing grease from the manufacturer off and then I can season it with our own healthy oil.
I'm realizing that it's different. It's so hot, like it needs water right away. It is working. You're all excited. catch a bay leaf or a uh, hot pepper, of course. That's good. Thank you. How does it smell? It smells good. It's all good. What do you think? I think it's awesome. It's really good. The only thing that can make this better is uh, a wood-fired hot tub. Oh yeah? Yeah. You wanna go? Yeah, let's go. Okay. How is it? It's perfect. Are you ready? Temperature? Yeah. 34 Celsius. You should get in and test it for the first time. And there's no mosquitoes. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is perfect. Nice. Oh, yeah. Building and setting up this hippie hot tub was so much fun. You and liked like, it? Yeah, and like watching the water circulate and like the science of it is really fascinating. It's like a science experiment. Yeah. I cannot wait to use this every day during the winter. Any families who are bored during apocalypse time can build one of these with their kids and... Yeah. Especially if you have like a yard or acreage or something, this is like perfect. 
It's so nice. No mosquitoes. And no mosquitoes. <laughs> <laughs> but next summer we'll put a gazebo and a mosquito net around it. Yeah. Ready Puma, are you gonna get in with us? <laughs> transition, transition. <laughs> It's definitely warmer over here where the pipe is. Yeah. Yeah. Again, a lot of you have been asking in the comments to do a full time lapse from start to finish of how we built this. So here it is. That was perfect. Kissy, kissy. Ready? Ready. You and I both, you and I both are not having it today. No, we worked so hard yesterday and I'm just, I think both of us were just like exhausted. Like we're cold. It is very cold today, but I'm tired. We got to get this trophy up. Well, let's build the platform and put the tub on it. Unpack the stove, connect it, and build stairs. Then fill it with water. Clean water. <laughs> Stop. And then <laughs> you're adding to our <laughs> We'll mill the stair planks out of this piece, just maybe 12 feet in, and the rest of it is for log cabin, but in this section is for stairs, and we'll just mill chunks off. And yeah, we'll probably, chunks probably just need like, what, five? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll probably just need like five chunks off. We'll just set it to like inch and a half thickness on the mill. <laughs> level them out. Okay, remove it. Oh, she's perfect! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ah, uh, exhausted. Dig, 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 dig. Come on. Let's go lower.
think it looks good. How many times have you and I tripped and fallen today? A lot. <laughs> How many bugs have we been bit by today? A lot. It's just like a hard day today. Yeah. All right, so let's, uh, so that should look more. That looks great. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Let's head inside where it's safe. <laughs> Ready? No, today. Uh, hot tub's going in? <laughs> or getting moved to the spot? Yeah. Giving us our deck done. night. <laughs> yeah, you're sleeping out here. Okay, have fun. Hey there, patrons. Got Mosquito Net Nicole here in the tub. Yay! Hey, it looks pretty good. It looks so good. I'm so excited. How strong does this deck feel? Super strong. Like, I think we can drive a car on this. <laughs> I think so for sure. Okay. It's gonna be a helicopter pad. It's not big enough for a helicopter An pad. An off-grid helicopter that takes us here. Whatever. And then when the zombies come, we have a helicopter to get away. The jacuzzi stove. Yes. We Finally gonna open this bad boy. We haven't seen this yet. Beast woman. <gasps> Do you hickey? <laughs> Whoa. This thing is Let me, uh, beastly. Okay, let's see it. Ready? Ooh. Wow. So it's an outdoor stove. We're gonna pack it with wood, and then it's got a little chimney, but not too big of a flue, and then basically 
it's got two pipes that connect to the jacuzzi. Um, one is hot and one is cold. So as the stove heats up, it will pull the cold water into it and it will push the hot water out of it. And we'll talk more about that as we set it up. Hey, I have a question for you. How are we going to fill this tub with water? Uh, with rainwater. Then how are we gonna get it over here? That's a good question. I know how. Okay. Okay. It's not bad. Oh, it's so cool. It is cool. Look at this door. Wow. Mm. Ah. Woo, what's this? What's that? What does this do? Mm. That's where the fire is going to go. Go get safe from the bugs. How's the steps? Awesome. Except for this last one needs to be fixed. Yeah, for sure. We're not done yet. That's cool. Mm. Yeah, I mean, when it has water in it, it's gonna be so heavy that it'll hold itself down. Mm. I can get this side because I can do this. <sighs> but this is the first time that, for some reason, getting it up on those blocks and those spacers, see, it has to be at least four inches above the stove. So we got it at five and a half inches above, and. This is the first time that I'm kind of excited about this. I'm starting to see myself in there taking a nice hot tub. It looks like a, like a train. Okay, we have this insulation left over from the yurt build. It's like bubble wrap insulation. And you guys who watched us build the yurt, you saw us put this on the side cover and the top cover of the yurt. And we have this left over. So we're gonna put this on the bottom of the tank to kind of insulate the hot water and hopefully it lasts longer and heats up faster. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, one, two, three. Don't hold it down, let's center it first. Okay, thanks for the help patrons. And with your help, chose the brick. Kind of how it's gonna be, so it's looking pretty cool. <laughs> the hippie hot tub. So it wasn't, it wasn't pretty but I got the hole the right size and ended up using the drill bit, a um, little bit of tin snips, a little bit of my metal blade on the, on the band saw here. So that's how it looks. It's a drain hole. What do you think, babe? It looks great. Professional. It's like super flush, yeah. And like, how cool is that? Then all the water is not wasted on us. It's rainwater pumped into here and then used on fruit trees in the garden. Yeah, that was my idea. <laughs> Your uh, insulation straight over there. Yep. There's like a hundred of them behind me. 
On me? No, me. Oh, yeah. It's mosquito time. Babe, we're on the last step. Yes. Are you excited? Well, we don't have any water to fill it. So. Oh. <laughs> Why? You gotta push with me here. Push. Tight on there, babe. So this side comes down the gutter, goes down there, goes underneath the deck, and ends up in the tote. And this one just comes straight down and goes in the tote. And then eventually you won't even see this tote because we'll extend the deck and cover it completely. And um, I'll throw a cheesecloth on them tomorrow to filter the water and to uh, um, block any mosquitoes from breeding in there. I'm gonna go find my, my swim shorts and get them ready because we're gonna be in this tub soon. We'll get this rainwater going and then uh, we'll show you guys the first dip. The first time using the, uh, the train, AKA hippie hot tub. All right, do you think it's gonna work? I hope so. Whoa! That's some good flow. Is it working? No. Is it working? Yes. All right. Woo! Not bad having a wood-fired stove heat up rainforest rainwater for our jacuzzi. See what our reading is here. We're starting with a water temperature of less than 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Kind of, yeah.
Um, down. We need to build a roof over this just to trap the smoke. Tell me, is the uh, water level above the second valve? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like this much, but... Okay. Yeah. Then as soon as the, the water in the wood stove, called the water jacket, once it's hot, then the hot water should flow out high and the cold water should pull in low. I'm already feeling warm. You are? Yeah. That's really exciting. It's working. Yeah, I already feel warm. Like, it does, it's not like pushing out, but if I stick my fingers in, like, I feel warm. Because the flame is really intense back there. You can totally see how this top valve is hot because hot rises. You can see the hot water pouring into the tub. And it's warm. Come on, smoke! What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to get the smoke to go in our faces because it gets rid of the mosquitoes. The people can't see how many mosquitoes are out there. It's so bad. It's like being in a beehive of mosquitoes. You've heard of a rain. I think it's working. <laughs> it's working. More. We need more of this. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's working, seriously. Yep. Definitely made the fire go. Woo. Hey, it's looking really good. It's working. Yeah, it's working. Whoop, whoop. Are you uh, mosquito free up there? Almost. I mean, I still see them hovering low. It looks like a hippie hot tub choo choo train. Oh, I bet. It is. <laughs> You're the conductor of the Nicole train. All aboard! Hop on the Nicole train. Choo choo! What do you have here? Um, just a basket of goodies. <laughs> wow. Um, so I'm gonna put these in the bath with us. This is the Nicole Rose. Um, I just picked this today and we actually just planted it today. Right behind you. Right there. So I had to prune it back and then this is the Olympian, Olympian Rose um, that I'll also put in there. A bunch of wildflowers that I picked and then we have some locally made champagne but it's made from blackberries. Yeah. So I've been saving this. I got this on my birthday. This looks fantastic. Thanks. Huh. Yeah. Why are you so cute? Okay. You have to keep it moving and you have to make sure that the pockets of cold water stays in circulation. So the cold water can suck into the stove. And it'll heat up faster. Is it warm or what? What the water? How's the temp? Amazing. Feels good? Yeah. Oh my god, it's almost too hot. It is no, no, it's going up. A hundred. 
100 exactly. That's crazy. All right. This looks so good. Yeah. These are the Nicole roses. I love it. Let me feed this. Can I get in or out? Oh my god, it feels so good! Did it work? Yeah, it feels so good. Oh. It's good? Yeah. Oh. How is it? Oh, amazing. <laughs> it feels so good. Are you just acting or does it really feel good? No, it feels really good. Yeah. It's perfect. What's gonna happen when I get in here? Is it gonna... Is it gonna throw me over a fluid? No. Not at all. No. I'm playing the water level perfect. I know. <laughs> it feels good, doesn't it? It's hot coming to my back. Really? Oh, you so good. Your eyes. Right there? Yeah, you can. Let me see what his art pretty bad though around our face because yeah. it is pretty late and they come out really like they come out intensely what time is it right now it's like nine o'clock <laughs> it is 9 p.m yeah and i got mosquito net to put this whole thing in netting just we just don't have it up yet we are wondering if the smoke would clear them but but i do have a candle to light that is a no mosquito candle um by little fox apothecary so i'm gonna light that up and that's that apothecary you love i do i love it so much <laughs> Some roses. Oh my gosh. Yeah. How's your leg feel inside here? Your cut? It feels good. I feel like it's like disinfecting it even mm. more and cleaning it more. Cool. But it's good. I mean, just everybody knows you have been begging for a bath for a year and a half. I know. I love baths. Wonder, seriously my favorite. Can you see those get me if I'm like this deep? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, they're by your head. What? Well, hopefully this will help. <sighs> Look, my wine glass. Okay. Check it. Forehead. It pulls. Forehead. Oh. Okay. Oh, hopefully this helps. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get a floating thing for that. That's an anti-mosquito candle? Yeah, it's a no mosquito candle. Nice. We need to float in the middle. Put it in this wine glass. Okay. Is that gonna pop like champagne? Yeah. Wait for my. I eyes. think. Oh. Okay. <sighs> I'm normally not really good at this, but the newest addition <laughs> oh. <Stop>. to. <laughs> you want to do it? No, you you go. This is your birthday present. You gotta do it. You can do it. Babe. <sighs> I don't know how this is gonna open. I don't want to twist. It. I'm scared. Here. You do it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Here it goes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Some blackberry champagne. Mm hmm That's yours. Thank you. Yay. Okay. My toast is to, to many more hippie hot tubs in the Canadian rainforest. Yes. With less mosquitoes. <laughs> With mosquito net. Yes. Or in the winter time when they're gone. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's this good. Really fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's like fruity but sparkly. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yay! <laughs> It's so hot. Whoa. <laughs> it's like 200 degrees in my back. Yeah, it's really hot in that spot because that's where the hot water comes out. I think we're close to 105. Woo. It's hot. I can feel it. Feels good. Choo choo. <laughs> it is a train, the Como Rebbe train. <laughs> choo choo.
<laughs> Selfie view is not working. So steamy.